Um, Slomo, did you uh, order something today? Oh yeah, I got myself some Pizza Hut, dude. Oh, Pizza Hut. Well, Pizza Hut. that's interesting. Um, Pizza Hut has been around for many, many, many years. Yeah, big, big... it's only kosher in Israel. That's true. It is and only if kosher in Israel. Stop fast, especially if you're in prison for murder and mm -hmm. you're pretending to fast. Instead of doing it with crackers, you might as well just do it with pizza, you know? So are you making fun of Bargotti? Marwan Bargotti, that prisoner that's, that's, that is five life life sentences in Israeli prison? Is that what oh, you're doing? Oh yeah, right that now? guy's a monster, but you know, you can always have a break or some pizza. Oh boy. Okay, that's it. I think we need a, I think we need to get like somebody to like, um, ask you to apologize right now. You're really hurting a lot of people's feelings, apparently. Really? Yeah. Because some of their demands are ridiculous. Whose demands? These prisoner demands. I'd say this. Number one, they want communication, right? Uh -huh. Having public payphones available for all Palestinians in jail in every section of Israeli jail in order to allow humanitarian contact with relatives. Yeah, but like, what does that have to do with Pizza Hut? So, Pizza Hut was actually involved in a scandal because their Israeli um, Facebook account put the Pizza Hut logo mm -hmm. in Barghouti's room and it was found out that Barghouti was cheating on his oh. own uh, on, on his own little uh, strike. Wait, so he wasn't really doing a strike after all? No. So then why did he say he was doing a strike? Because they're trying to, to change the conditions in Israeli prisons, which... It's not good enough. It's clearly not good enough. The conditions in the Israeli prisons are horrible. Are fantastic compared to other Western countries. Um, excuse me, how many degrees are they entitled to in Israeli Three. prison? Okay, that is horrific. That is absolutely horrific. No, I mean. Do you know how low of a number three is? Huh? Do you understand how low of a three? How low of a number three is? Well, three is a pretty low number, but in the it's an incredibly world, low number. In the academic world, if you have a doctor's degree, you pretty much accomplished everything in academia. Marwan Barghoutian has a PhD thanks to the Israeli prison system. Only one? No, he has a bachelor's, a master's, and a PhD. So that's only one PhD, though? Yes. That's unacceptable, if you ask me. So I don't blame him. And you know what? Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe they should have Pizza Hut there. Well, then you have some really messed up ideas of... Uh, uh, let me just read this a little bit, what they're actually demanding, so people can actually understand. For example, they want public pay phones available for all Palestinian jails in every section of an Israeli jail, or to allow humanitarian contact with relatives, after former MK Basar Gattas was caught smuggling mobile phones to terrorist prisoners. This important source of phones dried up, and that is why it's first on the list, so they can be able to run their operations and terror operations from prison, like the Mexican Mafia does in America, or the Aryan Brotherhood does. So that's extraordinarily stupid. They want the reinstatement of uh, canceled Second Red Cross visits. Like, these, these, these people, they, they... If you've even seen videos of the way that they actually uh, operate, when a police officer tries to go in and, and do a check on the room, they're actually holding on to one another, so they're not dragged in and and um, the, the officer who's doing the check is not made a hostage in that situation and actually grabbing onto each other when the police officers actually go room to room. And they're pretty much left to their own devices. They have their own uh, canteen. They have their own food. They cook there. I mean, it's ridiculous. They, they, they have better health care than a lot of the other Israeli citizens have. Visits every two weeks with no cancellations allowed to be authorized by anyone. So, they want to be able to have visits every two weeks without no cancellations? As far as I know, the Palestinian Authority, uh, they did address the UN Security Council, though, and they still said that, that um, I don't have the exact quote in front of me, but they said that, that the collective punishment against the Palestinian prisoners is just unacceptable and needs to be addressed. So, the reason why there's these cancellations is sometimes because the intelligence services picks up an issue that may happen or that the person who's coming to the prison may be bringing contraband into the prison and that's why they cancel so that's a no-no 
no banning of any second or uh, first or second degree family members from visiting the prisoner. Even if the relative is not allowed to enter Israel because he's involvement in terror, which is also really dumb. So you want to be able to try to allow more terrorists into um, into territory that they can possibly do more terrorist attacks. Doubling visiting hours from 45 minutes to an hour and a half. What's wrong with 45 minutes? I think 45 minutes is more than enough time. Permission for prisoners to be photographed with their families every three months for social networks. So they want to be able to propagate their ideas of terrorism more and try to propagate themselves. Installation of equipment for the benefit of visiting families at the entrance of the prison. Admission to children and grandchildren under the age of 16 to every visit. Uh, okay, fine. Obviously, with all these demands, Shlomo, the Israeli... Uh, prison uh, is is really it must be horrible there. Okay, I think so I think they should probably try the American uh, prisons, uh, the, the prisons in America. Well, so in the American prisons, they would be raped. Oh, does so, that happen in Israeli prisons? No, not that I know of. Hmm. They get conjugal visits. Oh. And do you think Marwan Bargodi is going to be uh, exchanged? Definitely not. This guy has way too much blood on his hands. Oh, but anyways, let's just go on with these like ridiculous demands. Medical issues. Closing what is called the Round Lake Prison Hospital because they can't leave the, the, the hospital and walk outside. Putting an end to the policy of medical neglect. I don't know why they put that on there. Regular medical checkups. I mean, they, they already get medical checkups. Performing surgery quickly as done in cases of emergency. This, this happens all the time. and Plus, they're convicted terrorists. I mean, what, what do they expect? I love specialists into, into clinics. Okay? F freeing seriously ill prisoners as well as those who are handicapped or suffering from life-threatening diseases. Again, these guys are murderers. I don't care whether they have diabetes or whatnot. You killed someone, you're staying in prison forever. But not, that's, that's not fair. Of course it is fair. If, if you're in charge for the murder of innocent people, you deserve to stay in prison for the rest of your life. Not charging prisoners for medical care. I mean, someone's got to pay your medical bills. Why, why should Israel pay for the medical bills of, of murderers? That's ridiculous. Female prisoners. Assigning to the demands of female prisoners and to their needs, allowing them to have gender separate transportation and direct contact. I think that any uh, barriers during visits. So, what do you think? Should should Israel send these female prisoners to Saudi Arabia? That would probably be better for them. Uh, um, demands regarding the Bosta, which is the vehicle used to transport prisoners, a word whose source in the post that Arabs cannot pronounce. Uh, more consideration for prisoners being transported in the Bosta. They want to sit next to the driver. So they can easily escape and maybe kill the driver in the process. Returning to prisoners to their cells from clinics and court appearances instead of letting them off in halfway houses. Refurbishing the hallway of houses. More satellite channels. Installing air conditioning. Bringing back the kitchens, which is also ridiculous because that's how they were able to put knives and stabbing materials and make attacks. They want to allow an end to solid, solitary confinement for bad behavior. They want to put an end to administrative detention. Oh, and this is a fun one. Reinstatement of Hebrew used open university courses. They already have Bears at University. What's wrong with Bears at? They want an Israeli occupation Zionist organization. They want to get degrees from there. I'm confused though because the aren't isn't there supposed to be like a boycott, divest, and sanctions movement against Israel? So, so why would they want to? Well, apparently they can get a better kind of degree that probably holds more internationally in Hebrew use than they could at Berzit or in Al Quds. Al Quds, Al Quds. So, this is just the most ridiculous demand. Is these people? think that they can do, they can murder, and because they murder, they believe that they deserve to have some kind of reward for murdering Jews because that's what they like to do. They like to murder innocent people and get away with it. And in the process, they like to try to suck the system.